what's going on everybody welcome to our 2024 atlanta falcons mock draft kick it off Jaden daniels first quarterback off the board lsu i have a feeling he could slide a little bit a lot of eyes are towards uh, caleb williams drake may um once you get out of that top five i don't see three quarterbacks going to top five though it is very possible i don't see it happen unless somebody trades up Jaden daniels man heisman winner Jaden daniels is that dude uh he can beat you with his legs with his arm and he's very accurate and the growth between from when he was i think it was arizona to lsu is impeccable um he's college football royalty and atlanta needs a quarterback man they need they need a guy who could take over a game they have so many weapons there they're not being used properly and Jaden daniels is going to open up that offense so much then moving on my second pick we have oregon uh, un sorry, University of Oregon, Troy Franklin. Dude, Troy is dope, man. I am a I'm a Troy Franklin fan. fan. He's six foot, two hundred seventy nine pounds. Um, you can take and put him on the outside. You could treat him as a slot receiver. You could put him in a lot of different schemes. And what's interesting, he's six two one seventy. He's very wire wiry. However, with that being said, he can make a lot of difficult catches, man, even in double coverage. We've seen it happen, and he was a big part of that Oregon offense. Then we have Adisa Isaac. Shout out to uh, Jamani Ford, his agent. Uh, just took and signed him. Edge rusher coming out of Penn State. Uh, huge Adisa Isaac fan. This guy is a bull rusher. He can beat you with his moves. Super dope. Jordan Jefferson. Uh, look, when it comes to taking on double uh, double blockage, that is the guy. That is the guy. Uh, there, there's not an artery. Uh Clogged artery that could stop him, metaphorically speaking. Jordan is that guy. Um, then we have Kyrie Jackson. Um, I became very familiar with Kyrie Jackson uh, in, in the Colorado game, and he was locking everybody down. I mean, his, his arms, probably some of the longest arms in this year's draft, man. So um, he, he can ha hold it down in the slot. Great great open field tackler man he takes away weapons man so then we got Jaden davis man it's just i would say he's a he's a notch down from Kyrie, not as long of arms but uh this is this is a a true nickel uh a nickel back when it comes to uh defensive backs um huge part of that uh, miami defense definitely a guy who's a little bit of a development project but i could see him being a starter in potentially one to two years then we got Corey crooms Corey crooms man uh I don't have a stats in front of me, man, but that dude balled out while at Minnesota, man. This guy could potentially, has the potential to be better than Troy Franklin. A lot of draft boards have him slide in a little bit, but super dope player. Then the next mock draft I'm pulling up right now. Yeah, man. I would say I would agree with you. Jaden Daniels is a monster. Uh, dude is a fluid quarterback. Uh, his growth from Arizona State to him being at LSU was miraculous, so much so that he was able to go and get his Heisman. Uh, at pick number 43, Tavardre Sweat. This man is a monster. You cannot get past him. I have seen double teams. I have seen triple teams on him at defensive tackle for Texas, and they played very stiff competition this year. So we know that at the next level, he's going to be very impactful. Um, Chris Brazewell, there's going to be some adjusting, but uh, at pick 74, I think that the Atlanta Falcons will actually get a bargain on him. Uh, I think he, coming from Bama, obviously is going to have the pedigree. Uh, I like him as an edge rusher that can also do something as far as coverage, um, but I think he'll still pan out. Kyrie Jackson, you have absolutely nothing to say about the guy. He's going to be able to do everything. He's going to shut down your wide receiver. Uh, if you wanted to even move him out to safety, you can. Uh, I like the way he played for Oregon. I mean, he's just impactful in the secondary. Uh, Jermaine Burton, dude, he's a baller. He's just an absolute baller coming from Alabama. Uh, at wide receiver, he was maybe the number two option at wide receiver. But looking at what Atlanta has with Drake London, uh, a solid wide receiver two, maybe even a wide receiver three is where I see Jermaine Burton. Omar uh, Spates, linebacker from LSU, great in coverage. Uh, he's going to pop off your sh like your uh, radar. Like you're going to see him on the video. And he's extremely impactful because he can do a lot of covering in your middle of the field. If you got someone who's running up the middle, good luck. 
because he has great pursuit. <laughs> I've got Gabe Hall. Uh, he's an athletic specimen. Um, we're going to see what he can do at defensive tackle, but I think he's going to be a deaf piece. Uh, it may take him a couple years uh, to grow uh, into the NFL prospect that we expect him to be. I love it. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, comment below. Comment below. Ladies and gentlemen, those are our two scenarios. Let us know who had the better one. Comment below. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching another episode of the Touchdown with Doug Smith, where I cover all 32 NFL teams plus NFL exclusive interviews. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for the alerts. Comment below. And we'll catch you next time on the Touchdown with Doug Smith.